Well, from a coaching point of view, what we will do is we can use communication exercises, uh, positive self-talk, positive instruction to get the outcome we're aiming for. On an athletic point of view, what we can do is we can do techniques and strategies to get them in the right state of mind for the right time. Now, when you're about to compete, your state of mind needs to be focused on the task ahead. So uh, the, the difference between achieving a top performance and one that is, is mediocre uh, is very, very minimal. So one of the key factors is, is to make sure the athletes are at that right state of mind at the right time. So just before a 100 meter sprint, just before they go out and play a game of football, even between a game of football, there are different interruptions and breaks in the play. The ball goes out, there's half time. So being switched on at the right time is, is the key. Also, the other areas as well is how they view themselves psychologically. If you think of the mind, the internal mechanisms, when someone's confident, the sort of pictures in their mind are completely different to when they're not confident. An example is, so if you were to think of a situation that was unpleasant, in your own mind, you'd get different thought process. Now, if you thought of a situation that was pleasant in your own mind, you'd have a completely different association in terms of your representational systems, your senses, the way you would see things, the way you would feel about the situation, the, the things that you would hear associated with the situation would be completely different. An example, analogy is, if you were to watch a, a scary film, for example, your heart starts racing, you start getting frightened. Now, it's not real, but the mind finds it difficult to differentiate reality and, and non-reality, which is what happens in sport as well, where what happens mentally, it's very easy to go into a vicious cycle where once your confidence goes, your thought process completely changes. As, as, as quick as it is to lose that confidence, we can get it back as well by getting the images, positive images in your mind of yourself doing well. Because before you go out there and win a game of sport, you've got to participate in the game in your mind. That's where the game is played first of all. So prior, prior to, it's almost like the analogy of building a house. You design it in your mind first and you go out and, and build it. The same as sport, you play the game in your mind first and you go out there and participate.